Hello dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. Now with this video I want to make a few additions to a previous video that I released recently about preparing for sim updates. One, I want to give you as much information as I know about when these sim updates will come. Secondly, I want to add to a couple of things that I didn't mention within that video kind of omissions if you like you know you can make a video think you've got all bases covered then you will get a couple of comments and you'll think oh i missed that part oh yep absolutely right so i just want to add them into this video shall we start with the sim updates the estimated time of arrival for these sim updates has passed it's meant to be the end of july we're now at the, be at the beginning of august so where are the sim updates? Well, I've got to commend Asobo on this. They will come when they are ready to be released. They don't want to release them until they are absolutely solid. And they are working as intended, which I absolutely agree with. Imagine if they released a sim update, sim update 3 now, and it was bollocks, or it was terrible. <laughs> you know, people are just gaining confidence with flight sim 2024 get this sim update 3 solid so it works well for everybody and improves upon what we have fixes issues you know controls and goodness knows what uh there's other things coming with sim update 3 as well of course and i'll do a video once it releases none of us know a sobo know and a select group around them possibly know when it's in gonna release or roughly none of us content creators other you you know other people who do whatever on the internet uh, pilots people in the discord people in the comments none of us know we can give an estimation and tell you when we think it's going to release i'm not going to do that because it could release at any given moment both sim update 3 and sim update 16 for flight sim 2020 at any given moment i was expecting flight sim 2020 sim update 16 to release at the end of august i'm surprised that didn't release but you know a sobo are just waiting until they've got it absolutely right and you've got to commend them so information we have essentially we don't and it could just come at any given moment people could be tonight could be tomorrow night could be next week could be the week after or any day and any time in between so you know i don't want to give any more estimations when it releases i'll cover it and it'll probably be a surprise to all of us let me know in the comments would you prefer to know a solid date i think a lot of us would so we can prepare properly which i'm going to talk about next uh or you know is it possible? It would be nice, you know, when they've got things solid, maybe give us a day or two notice. Yeah, let me know about that in the comments. Okay, on to the next part. I'll tell you what, just before I do that, a quick word from this video's sponsor. This video is proudly sponsored by Oz Flight Simmer, who not only has an excellent YouTube channel, but has a fantastic flight sim mods shop producing excellent 3d printed mods for your honeycomb velocity one flight yoke and many more with over 30 products available and free worldwide shipping shane offers very professionally printed and highly useful mods for your flight sim peripherals Go and check out my Maya Pro Velocity 1 flight mount, which is linked down below in the description. Go and take advantage of my 5% discount link, which is linked in the description. It gives you 5% of any of the mods available in the shop. Go and support a fellow YouTuber and treat yourself to some excellent 
flight sim mods. So once again, thanks to us Flight Simmer for sponsoring this video. Do go and check his mod shop, people. If you got an Xbox Velocity one, Honeycomb, I'm still using the Under the Desk Honeycomb mod. I'll link both videos I've done so far down in the description. Banging service, and you know, he's doing the Flight Sim community a great justice. Let's talk about the next part now. Let's add to what I mentioned before. Just a quick thing for Xbox users. Xbox users, you don't need to worry about this part. The way for you to prepare is ensure that you're not in the beta. If you're in the beta, you should know about it. Leave the beta when the sim update's about to release. You don't need to do anything with community folder. You don't have access to that. As long as an Xbox user, you are in the released version of Flight Sim 2020, Flight Sim 2024, it will update and you don't need to worry. It should just update for you. And hopefully, you should be in the new Sim update when it releases. But you need to be out of the beta for that. Okay, well, for PC users, I mentioned last time about my last video, which is linked in the description and linked at the end of this video, about moving your community folder. There's an easier way, um, perhaps a better way for a, a good majority of people. I'm in my Flight Sim 2024 location where my community folder is. I'll put all the default links down below for you in the description of this video once again. This is my community folder. If I right click and go to properties, <laughs> it's about something like, surprise me, it's about 80 gigabyte for me. Yours may be even bigger, almost 90 gigabyte. Look, to move that, it's going to take me at least 10 minutes, possibly. And, you know, I could lose things in my community folder when I do move it. So a better way, perhaps, and it is an official way as well, is just to rename your community folder. So if we select it, community folder, right click, rename, and do the same. This is Flight Sim 2024. Do the same for Flight Sim 2020. Uh, Going to call it community underscore old. Now, by the way, something else I should mention, something else I uh, oh, missed from the previous video. Only do this when the sim update is going to release. Again, it could release at any point. But if you want to use your community mods on PC, in this case in Flight Sim 2024, and I do, if you want to use them, don't rename your community folder yet. Do it perhaps when you know sim update is about to release or has released before you launch the sim, rename your community folder. Do it then. So when you know the sim update's released, don't launch the sim, rename the community folder, and then launch the sim. What I'm gonna do is actually launch Flight Sim 2024. Now I could keep you here or bring you back because I wanna show you the effect. I'll see how long that takes. I wanna show you the effects of what will happen in my what folder, I'm in packages folder. What should happen when the sim launch? It will create a new community folder. So say Sim Update 3 has just released. I'm launching Flight Sim 2024, as you can see there. So I'm launching that. What will happen? It will create, once it's into the sim, a new folder called Community. There we go. It's just popped up. Within that folder, there's going to be nothing in it. So what you want to do then, once the sim has uh, installed, is, well, I'll, sh I'll show you. I can quit out of this. Let me just bring you back when this is fully loaded. Okay, so the sim's loaded. So say this was sim update 3. Sim update 3, just hypothetically, it's just released. I've just launched the sim. It's created a new folder called community. What I'll do, I'll go in to start it, fly around a bit, make sure that everything's okay in sim update 3, come out and quit the sim. Now, let me just reiterate that because it might be that you're a very new to Flight Sim 2024 or Flight Sim 2020 on PC. So basically, this is hypothetical. Sim Update 3 has just launched. I've launched into it. I'll go start. I'll go to Free Flight. Uh, come on, Free Flight. Fly around, something like Cessna, one of the default aircraft. Fly around, uh, test it out. 
come back, quit to desktop. So I'm just going to quit out of the sim. Go to my folder where my community folder is. That's my renamed one. That's the one it's just added in. There's nothing in the one it's just created. My community old, which was my community folder, has got all my different add-ons. What I would do now is go to my folder that I renamed, select it, right click, rename, and rename it back just to community. And watch what happens. Okay, community. Then I'll have two community folders. Well, press enter. Destination folder already contains a folder called community. Would you like to merge the folders? Yes. Give it a second. It will merge them together and I'll have one community folder. And there you go. What I would do then is restart Flight Sim 2024 in this case. If I get problems in Flight Sim 2024, I won't in this case because I know these community mods work in the current build. But in Sim Update 3, I might start it, fly around and find that I've got a problem with Flight Sim 2024. What I would do again is rename this folder to Community Old, like I showed you before. Rename it, start the sim, a new community folder will come in empty. And what I would do is add, or just make a folder called community. Just rename this to community old, then make a new folder. I'll just start the sim, it'll create a folder and quit out. <laughs> That's the easy, let's keep things simple. What I would do then, this folder that I've got all my mods in, I would add one mod at a time. Test the sim to see if it's working. If the mods work, you know that's not a problem. If I add a mod and I get problems with the sim, I know it's a problem with one of the specific mods that I've added in the community folder. Hope that's clear. That's probably confusing for a lot of, a lot of you. If you've added something into your community folder, you probably understood what I just said there, hopefully. Just reiterate that. Rename that to community old. Launch the sim, you'll get a new folder, empty community folder. Rename this one that you've just renamed back to community so that you've just got one community folder with all your mods in. Launch the sim. If it's okay, it's okay. If it doesn't work and there's a problem, it means possibly you've got a confliction with one of your mods. Do the same. Rename it to community old. Launch the sim, you'll have a new, new community folder. And add when you've quit the sim, come out of the sim again, but add each mod one at a time to make sure that you don't have any conflictions with sim update 3 and your mods. I've tried to be as thorough as I can be there, people, and I do hope this is more helpful. Just wanted to make a more thorough guide in case the last one... I know there were a few complaints on it, so I thought I'd better do this one, in fact. But just to be more thorough. Both videos will be linked together so that they make a companion set, per se, giving you a thorough guide on preparing for sim updates. Do let me know if this has been more helpful for you or has been helpful for you full stop. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.